Hello again, everybody. This is vid three of my pickups. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys some Laserdisc movies that I picked up, and one of the really cool Laserdisc movies that I found, one of my favorite sci-fi flicks from the 80s. I happened to find the book for it at another thrift store. Anyways, uh, these all came from different places. Hence the one that I found the book for, that, and a couple others or from a swap meet that's reopened just out of my area and then uh, one of them came from the last place that I found some movies and then I actually found some at my local Goodwill which will bring up another rant on their stupid pricing system so on with the show this is the one that I got from the same place as the last ones and it's got one of those nice sleeves that's got the ziplock on it unfortunately this one tore a little bit but i think i can just put some tape on it to fix it otherwise this laser disc is really good condition here it's practically like new and this is one i was eyeballing and for some reason the guy thought it was worth some money and was going to put it on ebay and that never happened so it went back in the pile and i got it for three bucks and uh i've noticed this on a lot of the mar old school martial arts type flicks kung fu movies and stuff where they'll show scenes out of the movie but it's in black and white hence they were probably just using a black and white camera but the movie here is in color. Anyways, got Bruce Lee and Fist of Fury. Which, typical story of a lot of these kung fu movies was, man, the reason you get these is to watch that dude kick their asses. So a lot of good fight scenes in this. Wise man, it is like freaking minty. Minty minty. The disc looks minty. Like it hardly got played. So anyways, three bucks on this one. Another nice sleeve. These three I got at this new swap meet that opened up, or newish. Plus, I got another one that I'll, I'm going to show it last. It's the one that has the book with it. Anyways, this guy had a pile of them. They were his movies that he had back in the day, and he took really good care of his stuff. This is where the most I will pay for one of these is five bucks. I don't care if it's sealed, it's going to be five bucks or less, man. Because I've had a couple of sealed ones to where I had to just toss them. I don't know if it was how they were kept. Because I'm in Arizona, so the heat destroys a lot of stuff or what. But one of them, man, it looked like I just went to the store and bought it. Brand new. Opened it up, popped it in the player. Staticky as hell. So it had to have been how it got stored. Anyways, these, all of them played beautifully. This is one I needed in my collection. Finally got myself a copy of Alien 3. Big fan of the Alien movies. And this one. Just as good a condition as Alien 3. And Schwarzenegger. Total Recall. This one, the discs are in perfect shape. For some reason, the sleeve got a little bit tweaked here. Anyways, this is the unrated director's cut of The Lawnmower Man by Stephen King. So, all those, five bucks a piece. These next three all came from Goodwill. First one here, it played good. It's not too bad. Just a few little light scratches that didn't show up when I was playing it. And uh, 
this is one where any collectors watching that may have this and know more information than I do. Is this one rare or is it just really scarce? Because when I looked it up on eBay, I couldn't find that many copies for sale. And I did find some uh, Japanese knockoffs of this one. Same thing with that Bruce Lee one where <laughs> same movie, different pictures, knockoff. Anyways, this is uh, Masters of the Universe, the movie with uh, Dolph Lundgren playing He-Man. And I didn't know that they had them on Laserdisc, but while I was looking this up, I also found not too many, maybe like five or so at most, of uh, the original animated series. So, if you're into the old He-Man stuff, they got the animated series on Laserdisc. And this one is like friggin' new. Sylvester Stallone and Kurt Russell and Tango and Cash. Then this one, other than uh, I almost wonder if some jackass punched a hole in it to hang it on a J-hook at whatever store this originally came from. Because it looks, it's a perfectly round hole. Like somebody just poked it with something, but unfortunately missed the disc. It's just in the corner here. Anyways, this is Cocoon, The Return. This was still sealed. Brand new. Now for my rant on Goodwill. All three of those were a buck ninety-nine a piece. I also, well seldom because I seldom find them in good shape and hint, hint I collect the uh, CD video discs which are for the RCA select division and I guess there are some other players that did them but uh they're not a laser disc they are literally like a vinyl record inside of a plastic sleeve to where when you stick that sleeve into the player it's got some little pins where it pulls the disc out so you're just holding on to an empty sleeve when you inject it in. It's it's weird how it does it. And also, hint, record, it literally plays it like a record with a large stylus. So there is a needle hitting onto that disc. Which, need I say more on why it didn't go over good, man? Any vibration. Especially if you're in the room and somebody slams the door. So any, any jolt, any bad vibration, you're going to get a scratch. Hence why I don't collect them as much as the Laserdisc movies. Anyways, they had, yeah, I think it was um, Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark. I could tell by looking at the sleeve, man. It had seen better days. It, it was not in good condition. If it was mint, then hell yeah, it would have been worth the price. But this looked like it had been played to death. For some fucking reason, they had $15 on it at my Goodwill. Some jackass looked it up on eBay or whatever and thought they'd found gold. And unfortunately, somebody bought it because it's not there anymore. They had it sitting by the counters where my store, I don't know if they all do, but the counters will have like a little cutout in the side of it so they can set a couple items or so. So they had it there for a while, and then they moved it over where I found these laser discs, which uh, anybody that collects these, always check through the record albums while you're at Goodwill. That's where they have these. They were just hidden in there on most of them, and I can't remember which one I saw. One of them was out to the front, and the others were kind of just behind the records. Because uh, my store doesn't get too many record albums. I noticed that at the uh, Goodwill and Bullhead, too. They'll hide them within the record albums, and a lot of times they're pretty cheap. But that's just crazy, man. Why they'd have something that they don't even know if it's going to work or not. Hence, these are like a CD, so you can look at it and see if there's any scratches right away and put a high price on it. It just makes no sense. All right. Last one here. This, obviously... 
Maybe he got played once or twice by this guy. Is it still has the shrink wrap on it? He just opened up the end. Otherwise, it is mint. Got the last Starfighter. Then, literally a couple days later, had to go to town and uh, stopped at one of my local thrift shops. Not Goodwill. Hint on the price. <laughs> a lot fucking cheaper. So I know if this was a Goodwill, it wouldn't have been a dime. They were having a sale on their children's books. And I just saw this on a fluke. They had all the books and shopping carts. And this was towards the top. And I was walking by and I was like, holy shit, <laughs> there it is. Anyway, I got the last Starfighter storybook. And other than just a few little scratches, it is damn near mint condition, man. <laughs> so, mint condition laser disc, I could pretty much say, and close to mint book. Because all the pages are perfect. And it's cool. It's got shots out of the movie. There's some of the fighters, bad guys. him playing the video game it's a cool car just a neat little storybook reminds me of my uh, Star Wars one that I got as a little kid that finally I got it back from my sister I've got the original Star Wars storybook for 1977 and it's just like this. Just adapted for kids. <laughs> Pretty damn good for a dime. It's not worth a ton of money, but definitely more than a dime. So, I'm going to try and do another video for you guys. Is uh, Give you a hint. It's sharp, and you can flip it. But because I'm an asshole, <laughs> and it's a really beautiful one, I won't be doing that. So, and for people that don't, don't understand my insanity, I'm going to be showing a knife in the next video. Or a sharp pointy thing. So, see you guys in the next video.